What's up guys, this is Carter Thomas with Blue Cloud Solutions. And today, I wanna to talk to you about the difference between custom audiences and lookalike audiences on Facebook advertising. A lot of you are either getting into Facebook advertising for your apps or you have heard a lot about Facebook advertising for your apps. There's a lot of people doing it. It is an incredible way to get traffic and downloads for apps, that's why people do it. And of all the platforms, it's by far the most effective. And it also has the best targeting. Now, beyond targeting of, hey, you're interested in pizza or you're interested in nature photography or whatever, you can also segment people and you can use algorithms and uh, indicators that you give Facebook to justify or to, to find the people that you wanna reach. And let me explain what that means. And uh, Facebook does this with custom audiences and lookalike audience. So a custom audience, if you wanna create a custom audience, what you would tell Facebook is, hey, Facebook, make sure that you tag everybody that does this particular action and put them into one small group. So for example, everybody that comes and downloads my app, make sure that you keep track of all those people. Or everybody that goes to my website, that just visits my website one time, Make sure you, you keep track of those particular people or people that purchase this one in-app purchase, track those people. So a custom audience means that you are saying to Facebook, this is, these are the people that I wanna track and I want you, Facebook, to, make, to, to keep a pool, right? Keep a, keep a list of who those people are. So you start to see that turn into, hey, there's 30 people in this custom audience. There's 100, now there's 200 people that installed my app. And we're going to talk about what that all means in a second. On the flip side, a lookalike audience is when you take one of these groups, right? You take one of these groups that you indicated that you want to track, let's say people that installed your app, and then you go over to Facebook and say, listen, I want you to go and find as many people that are as, look as similar to this group as possible so that I can put my ads in front of them knowing that Facebook has data on billions of people and they will be able to go out and run an algorithm and come back and say, hey, we found about 2 million people in the United States or whatever country you want that look really similar to all the people that just installed your app or all the people that are in your custom audience. Let's only serve your ads to those people. And when you do this, you see much better results because you're showing it to people that are already pre-qualified by Facebook based on the group of people that you are tracking. And that's the difference. So lookalike is more about scaling your ads and custom audience is more about tracking the users. And that is what the difference is. So with custom audiences, you can, you can imagine how many different applications there are for this. Uh, in, in emojis, for example, we do people that install the app, and then we also track how far into the onboarding experience did they get? Did they, did they go through all the screens? Did they actually go and install a keyboard? Did they send an emoji? And you can track all of these behaviors and say for everybody that got all the way to installing the keyboard, we have an audience of people. That's probably the best group of people that we can ask for. Those, we want as many people as possible that are using our app, or you know, maybe people that have used the app 10 times. We wanna keep track of, anytime somebody who comes, has come back 10 different times, keep track of them. And so you can create these custom audiences all throughout your app, and also anybody who purchases things. I mean, that's your ideal user, right? Like someone who unlocks all your in-app purchases, you can create a custom audience around that. You take these custom audiences and then you go over to Facebook and Facebook goes out and gets you millions of people that are really similar to the people that purchased the, that bought the in-app purchases or people that installed your app or people that send emojis. Facebook says these are the people that you should be showing your advertisements to. So those are the two types of audiences that you can create in Facebook ads and when you use them together, you can create a really powerful strategy. And we talk a lot about that on the Facebook ads mini course that we, we have on Blue Cloud Solutions. You can go on, on Blue Cloud and you'll see it uh, if you ever want to learn more about this. But it's a, it's a really powerful tool. It's definitely how you get the best results 
in Facebook and we encourage everybody who's in the app business who's using Facebook ads or thinking about getting into Facebook ads to start building custom audiences, build them up, and then start to use lookalike audiences to get even better results, better traffic, cheaper installs, and put more money back in your pocket. Cool? So I hope this was helpful. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube, like this on Facebook, Please share this with somebody that, that could get some benefit out of this who's maybe thinking about doing some Facebook advertisement and I will see you guys soon.